Well, guys, it looks like Bud Light is starting to finally realize what it means when you actually uh, try to virtue signal to the LGBTQ activist community. The corporation known as GLAAD is a corporation that is trying to essentially take full control over the entertainment sector. And they're also trying to take control of overall corporations as a whole because they're trying to utilize some sort of score system that they have internally to score different companies based on essentially how woke they are. Now, Glad is essentially attacking Bud Light and saying that they deserve all the sales that they've been losing. And don't get me wrong, I do agree. But the reason for which they're saying this, I do not agree. So according to uh, Glad, Bud Light itself has to blame for the sales plunge because they decided to cave to extremist bullies, argues the main LGBTQ advocacy group, Glad. Now, the funny thing to me about Glad calling other people extremist bullies is that they are literally, their whole business model is based off being an extremist bully. It is the pot calling the kettle black, and I think this is absolutely hilarious. So let's get into this article, guys, from Yahoo. But of course, before we do, just consider giving this video a like to push us out into the YouTube algorithm, and consider subscribing because we're on our way to 25,000 subscribers. It says Anheuser-Busch can only blame itself for the ongoing boycott of Bud Light after caving to extremist bullies, according to the main U.S. advocacy group for LGBTQ people, following consumer retaliation against Bud Light for hiring a transgender grifter to promote in April what its former marketing boss called an increasingly fratty and out-of-touch brand, group management kowtowed to the pressure, leaving them vulnerable and without support from either aid. I think we need to reframe this, Sarah Kate Ellis, CEO of GLAAD, told CNN and NBC on Thursday when asked about the backlash. Companies that did back down to bullies actually saw this escalate. And I agree with that. And that's simply because they decided that they were going to virtue signal to one side. Then when they panicked that the other side was abandoning them because I guess they thought that the other side wasn't as big as it actually was. Like Bud Light must have thought that most of their consumers were, were old and it, was, it wasn't like a lot of their fan base, right? So they decided to go virtue signal to young gay people in the hopes to convince them to drink Bud Light, but they didn't realize that the majority of the people drinking Bud Light are not young gay people. And you might have got maybe 1% to 5% more people to drink the beer, but you lost 50 some odd percent of customers. Customers. I mean, it's ridiculous. I don't understand why would you even go down that route? Why is it that these corporations don't realize, and I've said this many times in many videos, that why is it that when they go out to try to get more customers, that they automatically assume they have to abandon all their previous customers? It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, and I just will never understand that mindset. But of course, it's neither here nor there. This is Bud Light we're talking about. It says, had the brewer only stood its ground like many other companies supporting Pride Month, the LGBT community and its allies would have come to its aid and prevented the precipitous drop in demand that saw Bud Light lose the title of America's favorite beer last month. That is a literal lie. This entire this this entire paragraph in this article is a literal lie, okay? They're trying to convince everybody that the LGBTQ community would have definitely came to the support of Bud Light had they stuck to their guns. I call absolute nonsense. It is statistically impossible for you guys to make up the difference that they lost in sales. It it's literally impossible. You guys would not have done that. And not only that, history shows us that you do not support the stuff that people virtue signal to you with. They, you don't support it. There's been so many movies. Look at Bros, for example, one of the gayest movies of all time. And it mega bombed in the box office so bad that they had to blame straight people for it to not doing well. I mean, come on, you guys do not support what you say you support. Okay, on Twitter, it, it likes and retweets only go so far. That's what you guys do. You guys in the activist community, you guys do the likes and retweets because you think that's like monetary gain it's a very weird thing but in all actuality when it comes to real monetary value you don't provide that much value that's the thing you do not provide much value which is why so many people scratch their heads thinking about why people are virtue signaling to you in the first place it makes absolutely no sense from a financial standpoint but again these are not financial decisions we're talking about these are ideology decisions it says asked whether she felt Bud Light's 27% plunge in sales came as a direct result of caving to the criticism Ellis replied is absolutely from them backing down. No, it's not. It's not. Some of it might be, but all of it is not. Like, like most of it is not. It's not from them backing down. Most of the loss in sales came from the actual boycott itself. You guys deciding to jump in after the fact because they backed down from you, you were just a very small percentage of that overall percentage. But regardless, whether or not you guys joined the boycott or not, Bud Light would have lost over 20% of their sales uh, permanently at this point. I think it is because 
became permanent. It says, in fact, she went so far as to say her community joined in the pile on and may even be dr actual driving force behind Bud Light's troubles. People don't want to support a brand that won't support them when the going gets tough, Ellis argued. That is amazing to me. <laughs> They're trying to claim ownership over this actual boycott. This is crazy. Like, you got... <laughs> like, that's ridiculous, man. Glad is trying to essentially say that they're the reasons why Bud Light's in trouble in the first place. That is ridiculous, bro. That is absolutely ridiculous. Nobody believes a single word that comes out of the mouths of these people. They are living with illusions of grandeur, the likes of which most of us, most human beings cannot understand. But they are definitely living in a very strange world right now where they see themselves not only as the arbiters of the creation of the old boycott, but they also see themselves as some weird virtuous company that is a driving force behind all the obliterations of these woke corporations that's happening right now they're back down from, from the lgbtq community look at what happened with bud light look at what happened with target glad is going to try to take claim and of every single thing that happened to those companies which is just weird man it's weird you guys you guys do not have that number you don't have the numbers you don't have the power to be able to do that you you just statistically there's not enough of you 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 guys are not the driving force behind any boycott we know that to be the case because look at what happened when you try to boycott Hogwarts Legacy. Look at what happened when you tried to boycott Final Fantasy 16. You guys can't boycott shit. <laughs> That's just the truth of it. All you can do is hope to get it canceled. And when people ignore you and you can't cancel it, then you just move on to the next one in the hopes that you succeed then. That's all you can do. It says LGBTQ bars have stopped serving it. So I have straight bars, by the way. Anheuser Bush didn't stand with us, she said. I think they're uh, taking credit, the extremists, for the drop in sales when I think it's actually the other way around. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god, I cannot believe she's actually taking credit for this right now. This takes this I want you guys to understand something. This takes the next level of narcissism, right? This this entire paragraph takes next level narcissism in order to be able to say for you to really think that you are the driving force behind this boycott that you had nothing to do with in the first place is is crazy to me. I, I just don't I don't even know where to even begin with this. It says earlier, Glad released a statement saying it had gathered together a group of over 50 corporations to sign a statement of their continued support for LGBTQ people after what the organization called an increase in threats of violence against the business community for participating in Pride Month over many years. The signatures was also included uh, branded consumer goods companies on Delis and Levi Strauss, as well as two beer brewers, rejected the harassment and bullying of LGBTQ people while reaffirming their unwavering commitment to the community. Ladies and gentlemen, they're trying to extort these companies. That's basically what it is. They're trying to make them sign these petitions and basically trying to make them say that they are going to support the LGBTQ community no matter what and pledge their undying loyalty to this community. You cannot do anything other than pledge loyalty to the LGBTQ activists community glad is completely useless glad is filled with narcissistic people glad is ran by a white woman a white straight woman that is a hilarious thing to me glad is just a corporation that is grifting off of this entire thing for as long as they possibly can they are the blm of the lgbtq community so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it. if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one Hypnotic out.